Laravel tutorial for beginners. How to build a task list. To sample a basic selection of Laravel features, we will build a simple task list. You're free to just read along for the remainder of this quick start. However, if you would like to download the source code for this quick start and run it on your local machine, you may clone its Git repository and install its dependencies. First, let's use a migration to define a database table to hold all of our tasks. Laravel's database migrations provide an easy way to define your database table structure and modifications using fluent, expressive PHP code. The migration will be placed in the database migrations directory of your project. Eloquent is Laravel's default on object relational mapper. Eloquent makes it painless to retrieve and store data in your database using clearly defined models. So, let's define a task model that corresponds to our tasks database table we just created. Again, we can use an artisan command to generate this model. Next, we're ready to add a few routes to our application. Routes are used to point URLs to controllers or anonymous functions that should be executed when a user accesses a given page. By default, all Laravel routes are defined in the app HTTP routes PHP file that is included in every new project. For this application, we know we will need at least three routes. A route to display a list of all of our tasks. A route to add new tasks. And a route to delete existing tasks. So, let's stub all of these routes in the app HTTP routes PHP file. Displaying a view next. Let's fill out our route. From this route, we want to render an HTML template that contains a form to add new tasks, as well as a list of all current tasks. In Laravel, all HTML templates are stored in the resources views directory, and we can use the view helper to return one of these templates from our route. Of course, we need to actually define this view. So let's do that now. Building layouts and views this application only has a single view which contains a form for adding new tasks as well as a listing of all current tasks. To help you visualize the view, here is a screenshot of the finished application with basic bootstrap CSS styling applied. Application image. Defining the layout almost all web applications share the same layout across pages. For example, this application has a top navigation bar that would be typically present on every page. If we had more than one, Laravel makes it easy to share these common features across every page using blade layouts. As we discussed earlier, all Laravel views are stored in resources views. So, let's define a new layout view in resources views layouts app blade PHP. The Dart Blade PHP extension instructs the framework to use the Blade templating engine to render the view. Of course, you may use plain PHP templates with Laravel. However, Blade provides convenient shortcuts for writing cleaner, terse templates. Our app Blade PHP view should look like the following. Great, our application layout is finished. Next, we need to define a view that contains a form to create a new task as well as a table that lists all existing tasks. Let's define this view in resources views tasks blade PHP. We'll skip over some of the bootstrap CSS boilerplate and only focus on the things that matter. Remember, you can download the full source for this application on GitHub. Now we have defined a basic layout and view for our application. Remember, we are returning this view from our root like so. 
Now that we have a form in our view, we need to add code to our POST task route to validate the incoming form input and create a new task. First, let's validate the input. For this form, we will make the name field required and state that it must contain less than 255 characters. If the validation fails, we will redirect the user back to the URL, as well as flash the old input and errors into the session. Let's take a break for a moment to talk about the comma with errors. Portion of this example, the comma with errors. Call will flash the errors from the given validator instance into the session so that they can be accessed via the variable in our view. Remember that we use the at include common errors directive within our view to render the form's validation errors. The common errors will allow us to easily show validation errors in the same format across all of our pages. Let's define the contents of this view now. Now that input validation is handled, let's actually create a new task by continuing to fill out our route. Once the new task has been created, we will redirect the user back to the URL to create the task. We may use the save method after creating and setting properties on a new eloquent model. First, we need to edit our route to pass all of the existing tasks to the view. The view function accepts a second argument which is an array of data that will be made available to the view, where each key in the array will become a variable within the view. Once the data is passed, we can spin through the tasks in our tasks blade PHP view and display them in a table. The at for each blade construct allows us to write concise loops that compile down into blazing fast plain PHP code. We left a todo note in our code where our delete button is supposed to be. So, let's add a delete button to each row of our task listing within the task's blade PHP view. We'll create a small single button form for each task in the list. When the button is clicked, a delete task request will be sent to the application. Note that the delete buttons form method is listed as POST. Even though we are responding to the request using a root, delete root, HTML forms only allow the get and POST HTTP verbs. So we need a way to spoof a delete request from the form. Finally, let's add logic to our root to actually delete the given task. We can use the eloquent find or fail method to retrieve a model by it or throw a 404 exception if the model does not exist. Once we retrieve the model, we will use the delete method to delete the record. Once the record is deleted, we will redirect the user back to the